All right, guys, very excited here. We have Mainstay Medical at Reactivate, Dr. David Lee. Thank you for coming all the way you. from California. Good to see you, David. Yeah. Jason, Dr. great Stevens. to have you. Thanks, Thanks Jason. Good, Good to see you, brother. Up. So myself and Chad Stevens and David will be going over the new, brand new Reactivate procedure in my mind. Um, very, very interesting procedure out there. Um, it is neurostimulation, but it's a little different idea of what we think about with uh, traditional neuro neurostimulation, correct? Absolutely. So um, I'm going to go into the slides if you guys don't mind, and we can kind of get into this so we can then turn our attention to the actual procedure itself. Sure. So uh, one of the things that, uh, you know, when I was initially approached with this, uh, my background in physiatry, and I know Anthony, you the same, mm -hmm. is um, it, it kind of struck me because it, it, it changed the, the paradigm of how we think about treating uh, chronic low back pain. Um, interestingly, you know, when all of us, all physicians, whether, you know, anesthesia or PM in our back, background based, when we send patients off for back pain, and it's like 99% of my patients, we write on the physical therapy prescription, core strengthening, right, paraspinal muscle uh, activation. Um, and, and, and then when the patient comes back to us, interestingly enough, the, the paradigm for us, it kind of dramatically shifts, right? Then all of a sudden, we as interventionalists start thinking of the anatomical target all of a sudden, right? Versus looking at the actual problem, which is instability of the core. Um, so, so this kind of does it differently, right? Instead of uh, you know, discogenic pain or facet-mediated pain or even now vertebrogenic pain, we're thinking about just the actual muscles itself. So if you look at the, the slide here in the corner, um, you'll see that it's kind of like this endless kind of cycle of, of uh, uh, basically instability. So you, you have some kind of initial injury or overload issue, uh, degenerative change, that leads to pain. And then you have inhibition as a result of that which then leads to in that instability. And then it continues on this kind of vicious cycle. And, and so what this device intends to do is, rather than um, you know, traditionally blocking the signal, whether, you know, or blading the signal like ablation or using spinal cord stimulation, which we all have done, right? Yeah. I mean, you guys yeah, in practice, sure, sure. we do that. Um, we're actually gonna be putting leads right adjacent to the, the, the medial branch and stimulate that multifidi so that we can actually strengthen it, right? And um, the idea with this is literally physical therapy. I think we talked about this in a box. Yeah. A patient can't uh, do the normal exercises because they have issues with mobility or they're obese or they're just deconditioned. Well, this is what is gonna allow them to do that, right? The person who fails physical therapy, um, there's even issues like such things like kinesiophobia that we, we deal with all the time. So this kind of fills that gap. Uh, a lot of times we've had no other thing to reach for when we're dealing with chronic pain. And, and